Hello, now I will show you how to work with smart codes in Atlas DI Mac. So smart codes are these uh, codes that are made up of combinations of other codes. Combinations that you can create using a number of different operators. And uh, the benefit of having these codes is that they allow you to test certain statements or certain hypotheses that you want to follow uh, through your uh, uh, analysis. So let's take a look at this. Okay, I'm gonna uh, here I am the quotation manager. I will now right click new smart code and uh, what do I see? I have a new window here where I can specify conditions. So let's say this. I wanna, I wanna see all of the quotations coded with code A uh, and coded with code C. Uh, if you watch the other webinar, the, I'm sorry, the other uh, video tutorial, that is quotation number five. So let me take a look here at my list of, 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 of quotations. Now I see one smart code uh, which has quotation number five. So this quotation number five, uh, uh, I'm sorry, number one five is one that uh, is coded with both A and C. So let's see if that is true. Yes, A and C. So so uh, the, the, the smart code uh, stored that. that. So uh, now let's suppose that I go to another uh, segment, uh, another place here, and I code this with A and C as well. And what is going to happen here, look at this, I'm gonna code this with A, as well as with C, what is going to happen is that this number next to smart code one will change, will change to two because I have added another quotation that has been coded with those two codes. So let's take a look at this. Number two, this one and this one. Let me add here another quotation this one will be coded only with code A. So do you think that this number will increase now? Only number only with code A? No. But what if I code this with also code uh, uh, C? Let's keep an eye on smart code 1. It changed to 3. Okay. Uh, so now smart code uh, has three quotations. These are the three in which codes A and C are together coding exactly uh, the same quotation. All right, so let's let's go back here and now I can produce an output of this smart code uh, here, uh, output Excel and that will produce an output in Excel. Uh, but let's let's create another one. Right click new smart code or plus sign new smart code and now I'm going to take a look at another one. So uh, let me see everything that is coded with A uh, or or C. So or means all of the quotations coded with A as well as all of the quotations coded with C regardless of whether both codes are coding exactly the same quotation. Okay, so the operator AND always retrieves the quotations coded with those two codes that you have specified. The operator OR uh, will retrieve all of the quotations coded with both codes. So more quotations. And now you can create an output for this smart code, and which by the way, you can name however you want, A or C, right? Uh, A, A and C. Uh, for you to see well, the, 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 you see this via Venn diagram below, uh, and is when um, uh, this intersection is selected. So, and will retrieve always uh, what lies at the intersection of two subsets. Or 
will not retrieve uh, 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 what lies at the intersection, but rather will retrieve everything. Okay? So now, once again, you have uh, these seven quotations. And I'm going to go back to my project here, and I'm going to add uh, a new uh, quotation here with uh, code C. And let's see what is going to happen to the uh, smart code A or C. From 7 went to 8, because I added a new quotation uh, coded with one of those two codes. Okay? All right, and, and now if you want to create an output, as I said before, well, you can cl click here, and I'm going to call this output A uh, or C. Excel, once again, I am going to open here my, my, my spreadsheet, and here we are. Wait, wait. Uh, no, 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 no. It was wrong. This is the right one. Yes, now this is correct. And here you go, you have your nice output in Excel, format cells, uh, wrap text, and, and now you can work with it. Okay, so these are some outputs that you can create uh, using the smart codes. Uh, there are other smart codes that you can create because as you will see here, right-click new smart code, uh, the conditions that you can specify are many. Are many. In fact, I cannot go over them all with you here, but you would have to, to, to experiment just for you to see. Uh, the first set here, those are the, um, the Boolean operators. Uh, the center, these are the uh, semantic operators and below the uh, proximity operator. So these are operators that allow you to combine codes with codes, but not only codes with codes, you can also work with code groups. Okay, and by the way, I don't have any there, but if you had code groups, you would also be able to do these operations with code groups. So I wanna show you something very interesting here in relation to smart codes. I have a uh, I have a network. This network shows the following codes B and C. They are code A. Let's say apple and and uh, bananas and apple. They are fruits, right? And here we have a cameo apple is an apple, right? So this is a transitive relation in Atlas DI. So if you have a transitive relation like this one. Transitive is one that uses the is a or is part of um, uh, uh, operator. You see? Operators here, semantic operators that allow you to connect codes to codes in order to represent an understanding, in order to represent an interpretation. Well, the point is that if you have a concept map uh, using any of these transitive operators such as, uh, I'm sorry, I meant to say transitive relations is a, is part of, and a co is a cause of, is also defined as transitive. But if you have something like this, you can query uh, this network using the smart codes. Let's take a look at this. I want to say the following. Give me Atlas TI all of the quotations that are linked to the codes that are children of code C. Okay? Smart code, new smart code. Children of code C. All of these are the quotations that have been coded with the code that is under code C in a network uh, view like the one I just showed you, but also the quotations coded with code C itself. So let me take a look at this. 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 7, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5. So I am going to go here to my uh, network view. 
and let's see here uh, okay here it is right so uh, this tells me that uh, code C is coded one coding one four one five uh, two three two four two five and code D, which is the one below, is coding quotation 1.7. So the output that I just created using that, that smart code should include 1.4.1.5.2.3.2.4.2.5 as well as 1.7. So let's take a look at this and let's see if that is indeed the case. One four, one five, one seven, two three, two four, uh, two five. So everything uh, is there, okay? Uh, so you can also play like this in this way. Uh, let's say the siblings means the codes are, are, are on the side, that are children of the same code. Uh, parents, you look up. So the parents of code C are, is uh, code A. So you will get the quotations linked to code C as well as uh, to code A. And once again, uh, once again, what you can do here is you can uh, produce an output in Excel of this particular uh, uh, um, uh, smart code, right? As I have done before. And here, clearly, I think I should rename this, I will say, um, uh, where was it? Uh, okay, yes. Um, uh, parents of code C. That's what I did, I believe. Okay. All right. So that's another smart code that you can uh, that you can use.